return to scale return to scales so return to scales here we taking that one consider variables in long term what is the position of the output if output is increasing or decreasing then total credit goes to the variables only not only variables we are going to consider average and the marginal also and now we have to consider factors of production things if we are increasing proportionally change of output if decreasing proportionally if constant proportionally outputs so what is the reasons are there sometime increasing output proportional sometime proportional is equal to proportional sometimes proportional to diminishing returns so why what is the reason some returns will be increasing decreasing and uh, diminishing or constant according to that one we can broadly div dividing according to return to scales the scales are we can broadly divide in three classified or three categories first is increasing returns increase returns or increasing returns how many categories three categories increasing constant returns third is decrease or diminishing returns how many stages are there three stages now we can show the one table so what is position of this the output will be diminishing increasing constant what is the reason behind that we are going to take that one first is change in the scale return means factors or capital or labor first is take table what is the first one changing in scale change in scale means units like a uh, capital minus labor capital labor first column second column total returns total returns third stage is marginal returns is belongings to long term okay we are going to consider 1 to 10 10 to 20 10 to 20 <coughs> or 2 3 up to how many labors 
we are going to 6 consider 4 5 6 10 20 here 30 40 50 60 okay Cap capital minus labor okay total returns 9 19 30 next is 41 51 next is 60 we can say that one like minus 1 minus 1 constant 41 place total returns place and uh, same thing as here it is this is the 9 marginal unit next is 19 what's that 19 sorry 10 next is 11 next is 11 next is 10 next is 9 How to get that one? This is a 9 minus 9 constant. 19 minus 19 minus 9, 10. 30 minus 19, 11. Okay. Here also that one. Here. And uh, next is here. Next is here. How many stages are there? Three stages. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We can maintain the each stage is we can consider how many variables? 2, 2 variables. Here this one 2, here 2, here 2. Okay, this is called increasing returns. Okay, this is constant returns this is diminishing or decreasing returns we can show that one one diagram here Total products Total products Next is Scale of production Scale of production Here we can observe that one OSX OYX. Then here what when I, what happened here? First is increasing returns. Which return? Increasing return like this. It is an increasing sign. Then what is the next stage is constant. Will be no change. Okay, what will happen? Decreasing. Increasing and decreasing. Increasing returns here we can choosing the R2, R1. R2, R1. Next is from here to here, constant. Constant return. From here to, yes. Okay, three stages are there. See, we can observe here. The capital minus labor that one changing in the scales units 
from 1 to 10, total or 9, and a stage of marginal utility, no problem increasing returns are there in the 19, 20. When you are applying that one, changing a scale 30 and a 40, 30 and a 40, then here what will happen in this 30, 40, then here to that, the 11, 11 returns are constant. 